Now that the long-awaited X4 has finally come out, you start to play it and you realize rather quickly that the built-in tutorials are an absolute abortion, doused in raw sewage and set aflame. By which I mean they're so bad that you had better luck trying to perform brain surgery with a carpenter's handbook for dummies. So I'm here to help you get started. First though, I will have to assume that you know how to rebind your keys on your own, as this will mostly be how to use the bare basics of the game, not how to set it up. For this, I'll personally use the default controller key setup, but I'll use my glorious keyboard and mouse. So if you can't find the key, just look up what key combos I use and go from there. So, let's begin with the simplest yet more important things, the maneuverability. First, you get your normal forward and backwards thrust that is located in the top bar of your HUD central thingamajig. And underneath all that, you will see meters per second that your ship is currently moving. This should be the simplest to grasp, and so should be the upwards, downwards, sideways and rotational thrusts. So remember kids, with precision movement and enough thrust, you can achieve everything in your life. But remember, not to trust things too hard. Anyways, then your ship has a boost too. This ability will use the same power supply your shields use, and the amount is visible underneath the white bar that represents your ship's hull in the blue color. It will regenerate, but in time. Boost will simply grant you a rather huge increase in speed if you ever need it, though it's not usable in combat that well. But if you ever need to travel long distances fast, then enable the travel mode. This will allow your ship to reach to 2500 meters a second and thus travel faster to further targets. Oh, and finally, the flight assist mode. This basically is like a stabilizer for a camera. Essentially, this mode will trust your ship to reach the desired speed in the direction you're looking. So, if you set your throttle to 0%, then it will come to a full stop. If you set it to 50%, it will brake or accelerate accordingly in all directions to reach that speed. If you disable this mode, then basically you'll float in space and have to do these thrust corrections yourself, so better leave it on. Unless you of course want to do some sick backwards moves. Just be careful not to ram a station or something. Docking is a rather simple affair. Basically, as you approach the station, hit the docking command. By default, it's Shift plus D, and look for the green lights leading you to the docking bay. Of course, you need to be close to the station for it to work. Once you find the docking bay and your docking platform, align yourself with the hologram that shows where you need to go, and uh, once you get close enough, make sure to hit your ship's nose at the circle here, and your ship's position there. Of course, there's also auto-docking too, so if you feel lazy, just hit the key combo for it. Or let your NPC do that, though I think it's probably harder to lobotomize your NPCs than actually doing it yourself. Okay, so let's talk munis. Everyone needs them, so a great way to make some starter cash is with missions. To accept them, just open up your map or some other menu and navigate to the map. Then on the left side, you will see two buttons for missions. One for available missions and the other one for accepted ones. Most missions don't require you to bring anything back or do anything other than just complete the objective and BOOM! Magically, you get the space cash for the space reptilian hookers. Of course, to get more missions, you will need to find more stages. Thank you. To find other stations, you will have to use Long Range Scanner. First, launch it by pressing the key combo or whatever you've set for it, and then use the secondary fire with it. At the moment, there seems to be no visual indicator that uh, would help you to understand when to release it, but at least there are some audio cues, I guess? Anyways, if you overcharge it or undercharge it, nothing will happen. Once the scan is done, look into your map and you will see some white question marks. In starting areas, at least those those would be the stations. And now to discover them, just go there. Either manually or set your NPC to go there. It's up to you. But once discovered and close enough to the station, if available, missions should pop up in the missions tab. As for NPCs, well, let's start with the basics then. First, you hire one, as one of the starting missions will ask you to do, and well then, you can start lobotomizing them for fun, or out of necessity. To order your NPCs to do anything, you will have to navigate some menus. So brace yourselves, folks, we're entering EVE Online, because you simply could not have coded this game better, right? Anyways, <coughs> first, open your map, property owned, click on the ship with crew that you want to lobotomize, then information, behavior, set behavior, and choose what to do. 
you can click on the screen where to go or you can click on the station that you want to visit. Again, up to you to discover what is what. There's a lot of babysitting involved, so take your time to get familiar. Okay, so let's say you are sick and tired of those menus and you want to see someone explode and lose their lives to you because you lack the daily murder and mayhem. Okay, well first off, hold with your ship, set your weapon firing buttons and also go in menus to turn off the auto roll. This is actually quite important for a full space sim experience. I don't know why it's by default on, but here we are. Most of the weapons will have the pew pew you desire just by pressing the fire buttons. The gimbal weapons will follow your reticle to an extent or lock on to your enemy if the reticle is close enough. Of course you can set it to just forward firing, but with that you'll have to be a bit more precise. It's up to you of course. Just remember that your shield is also your boost, so use it carefully and don't overuse the flight assist off mode. Oh, and of course, do keep an eye out on your hull. And after the combat, remember that going in your spacesuit, wheelchair, floaty, thingamajig, you will have repair beams, so go wild. And there you go, hopefully the video was helpful, and uh, hey, do like and subscribe and all that wonderful stuff, but aside from that, of course, do let me know what else would be nice to know, and maybe I might make a video on that as well. And there goes me ship. Boy boy! Ah. Uh. Uh, okay. Top notch German collisions. Bro, docking. On his class, yes, Bruce. <laughs> Fuck me! Fuck <laughs> 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 me.